Hello, everyone. It's Robin from Center Street Decor. I am hopping on just a couple seconds late because I forgot to cut some noses for my bunnies. And then I thought, oh, I don't want the noise of the laser in the background. So I wanted to um, turn that on. So anyway, I hope you're all having a fabulous Friday. Whoops, where'd we go? There we are. Oh, anyway, so today we are going to paint some bunnies. We've got some darn cute bunnies. These are my chunky bunnies that we're going to be painting, and they're chunky because they're thick and they can stand up all by themselves. So these are our chunky bunnies. So we're going to be painting two today. We're going to be painting a boy bunny and a girl bunny. So excited to paint with you today. So if you are, if you catch this on the replay, just click hashtag replay and let me know you're here. Um, I would love to um, hear any comments that you have. So whew, gotta catch my breath because I was doing all the things trying to get ready. So, okay, let me flip you down so I can bring you down to our cute, cute bunnies. And plus I had to cut some Easter, happy Easter tags. I was looking through the um, supplies that I had for my bunnies and I realized, oh, I don't even have a happy Easter tag. Okay, let me flip you down so I can bring you. To see our bunnies, make sure you're straight. Sorry for my hands getting in the way. So trying to leave it so I can have it tipped up just a little bit so I can see the comments. So, okay, cute, cute bunny. So one of the bunnies, we're going to be painting white. I hope I have everything I need. If not, I will grab it, right? <laughs> one of our bunnies, we're gonna be painting white and one of them brown. So I am going to um, just do a light sanding just to get some of this um, brown edge off. Hello, Jennifer. How are you today? Okay. I'm going to wipe this off on my apron. Shake this off. So I'm painting cute, cute bunnies today. So this one I'm not going to worry about um, doing the sanding because I'm painting it more of a brown. So let's get some of our paint out. I don't know. Sometimes this lid gets clogged up with this type of paint. It's kind of a thicker paint. So I just open the lid and pour some of it out. Well, that is probably plenty. I had to cut a few of my pieces. I had to cut a few of my pieces because I realized I didn't even have noses for my bunnies today. So I wanted to do that. So I'm just gonna use a brush. I just put it on kind of thick at first, just, just some thick, thick, and then I just pull it around to where I want it. And I'm not worrying so much about the score marks. I don't mind if they get filled because I will, um, it's just kind of my, kind of an outline where I need to paint the pink inside of the ears, the inside of the ears pink. It's a little chunky piece right there. Yeah, so I just, just going to paint them, just going to get the base coat on first. And I usually do two, two coats, usually. 
got some fuzzies on that bunny. So what are you up to today, Jennifer? Are you creating? Doing some fun projects? Or maybe you're even at work. I don't even know. Okay, got the base coat on of this bunny. Set it aside and let it dry. I'm going to rinse out my brush. Oh, the house is empty and it's quiet. Oh, Going to attract me. That's great. <clears throat> Is that very far from you, the track meet, Hamilton? Because I know you usually like to go to the track meets. Let's get some brown so we can paint this this bunny brown get some of this white off of there i could have poured some of the paint on top sometimes i do that i don't always think to do that i guess Oh, it's about three hours away. He goes to the beach without mom. Well, I think when you're that age, when you're that age, you know, not really cool to hang out with mom, I guess. <laughs> I know my kids are, when they were in high school, yeah. Drop them off at school and off they go. So the brown, the brown bunny is going to be our girl bunny. And the white bunny is going to be our boy bunny. They are, they are adorable. Okay, smoothing everything out. And then I'll set him off to the side to dry. Oh, her. Brown Bunny's the girl. i got to say her. Oh, yeah. So fun. Good day to paint then. Nobody's in the house with you. That's fun. Okay, let's set these aside and they will need another coat, but we'll just let them dry. We'll go ahead and come. So the little girl's gonna have a hair bow and the boy's gonna have a bow tie. And then I have their noses here and they'll be painted pink. And we're gonna paint, do their bows blue. And these I usually paint with a sponge. So I'm just going to get a piece of my sponge. And I cut them really tiny. If I have a small piece, I just take um, one of the sponges. Jennifer, you probably know. And then I, I actually just cut it into a quarter if I just need a small piece for, you know, just a small area. Just... 
Ja, ja, ja. <clears throat> okay. Got that. And sometimes if I get um if I get paint, I'm not worrying about the girls so much, but the boys the boys' bow tie isn't gonna have anything on top of the on top of that. So I just kind of clean out some of the score marks. The little girl's gonna have a flower on top of the bow. Set those aside. Let's do our pink. Let's see, I'm going to actually tip it upside down a little bit because I want a little bit of paint in the lid. Okay, just another little, another little tiny piece of sponge. And I meant to bring some tape over here so I could Put them on top of a piece of tape. It holds it in place for me, but I forgot to grab it. I need to put one on this table so I have it handy. Okay, set that aside. Things are getting dry. And that's just about dry. I'm going to use my heat tool. I know. I know. So yeah, seeing all the word projects makes makes you want a laser. I get it. Maybe one day. Maybe that's one day. Maybe one day you will decide to invest in that. But you have a lot of other fun projects that you do, Jennifer. Love your door hangers. Your door hangers and your darling bows. You know that big poofy bow. I tried I tried to do that big poofy bow. Yeah, I need to try again because it didn't go so well the first time. I tried. I got a lot of paint on this one this time. I have to take some off. Okay, yep, too thick.
Okay. Oh, you're going to take your hats. Yeah, the bows take work. So, yeah. So, I need to practice that bow because I love the way that you do your bows for your reeds. I mean, I have my own way that I do my bows and I like it, but I'd like to have options when making bows. But I'm so excited for you to take your hats to the shop. How many are you keeping, though? <laughs> I know you liked. There was two, two of them that you were fav you were were your favorites. There was the painting one, and then there was another, um, the teal, the teal hat. You kept two. Oh, ten. Okay, so you, you got a dozen then. Okay, I wasn't sure how many you had. But. Yep. Hard to part with. Those two, those were so cute. Loved them. So I'm going to, I'm just going to do it this way. I'm just going to put some paint on, on top of my bunny. Just spread it out from the inside out. So you live close to the beach then, huh? You live close to the beach, three hours away? Is that where your beach is? That's fun. We don't live it near anywhere near a beach. We're more mountainous area. Oh, well, that's perfect. Two hours to the mountains, three hours to the beach. Goodness sakes. Do you guys do you camp? Do you guys go camping? I grew, grew up camping um, when I was little. That's what we did for vacations. Mostly we went camping and I loved it. But we didn't ever camp with my girls growing up because we didn't really live in a place that camping worked. No camping. So you don't do the tent life. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> of course, if I went camping now, there's no way I'm going to do a tent. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You just kind of get used to doing, you know, get used to having a bed. And so, I don't know, roughing it. Some people love to do that. And that is, that's great. Okay, base coating is done. Just base coating takes a little bit of time, but that's okay. They're going to come to life now. Let's do some more painting these cute noses. Yep, need some tape because they're bouncing all over the place. A four stars instead of a five. Yeah, that's rough in it. Yeah. So do you go to the beach very often? So you would rather probably go to the beach. Would you rather go to the beach?
I usually do two coats. Two coats for my, these little bits too. The bow and the nose. Your husband likes the mountains. <clears throat> Okay, got those base coated. We're going to set them aside so they can dry. And then we'll um, I'll clean up the edges a little bit. I've got lots on the edges. Okay, let's use the heat tool again. See if I can dry these. I'm trying to remember what, what strength. Wow. Paint everywhere. That's why I prefer the bottles, but I haven't got these in the bottles yet. Because I just just barely got some bottles. So I need to put them in bottles. I don't I prefer the bottles. Okay. Okay, let's dry these so then we can do the shading on here. I don't want to do the shading yet. I forgot. I've got to do the inside of the ears. So let's do the inside of the ears. I might need to pour a little bit of this on my palette. That might be a little easier to work with. Oh, are your paints as messy as mine? Oh my goodness, they are messy. And then I put the lids on and then I get to be a painted mess. Let's see. Okay, paint the inside of the ears. So a lot of water in my brush. So that little score line that I had just kind of gives me an idea of where, where I need to paint inside the ears. It's just kind of a line that helps me know where to go. It's kind of quiet when we do paint in the details. I can. I can see the score lines. Maybe if I hold this up, I don't know if you can see them. But yeah, they're just faint on there. 
but then it shows me where to go. Yeah, so I can see. <clears throat> yep, I can see the score lines. Even though I painted over them. Hmm. Excuse me, I went outside the line. So I'm just going to take a, a baby wipe and just clean it up just a little bit. There. Better. Getting kind of crazy with this ear. Oh, good. You could see that. I wasn't sure if you could see that when I held that up. I'll probably have too big of a brush because I go outside the lines on the opposite side of where I'm painting. Clean it up with a baby wipe. No big deal. Okay, these look like they're almost dry. There we go. Just got to take all the shiny off so I can do that second coat. it seems like this the second coat goes a little faster I'm going to have to dry this one too.
Okay. If you get it too hot, your paint will bubble. I need to be careful because that one was getting a little too hot. Woo. I'm going to let that cool just a little bit. I am going to clean up some of these edges right here. Get a quip swipe. You can do it with a um, when it's kind of wet. You could do it with a baby wipe. But these small pieces, I'm just going over with a marker just to clean it up. I like it to look a little bit more neat. Okay, set that aside. Let's go around the nose a little bit. Just cleaning up the edges. And while that's drying a little bit, I think I'll clean up the edges right here, too. Then we can paint the second inside the second coat on the, the ears. So this this is actually brown. This is um, it's a Liquitex, but it's burnt umber. That's the color, and I like to use. You can use. I've done. A Sharpie as well, and a Sharpie works fine too. But I would have to say this is my favorite favorite just because it matches really well to the burnt edge that the laser has cut. So this is my favorite, but a Sharpie, I have done a Sharpie too. Just kind of cleaning up just some of those edges that just kind of it's hard to avoid no matter how much I try to be careful not to get any on the edges it just still happens and if I can't reach if if my marker can't reach an area then I use a black paintbrush which is what I'm going to have to do on the inside of the ear right there So this is a brown, brown marker. Okay. 
Yep, so I'll clean that up with a, a black in just a bit. Let's come back and paint the inside of this guy's ears. And together. Okay, let's put some cheeks on. So I'm just gonna use a stipple brush just to put a little bit of cheeks on our bunnies. Just try to get as much off as I can. And then I'm just gonna go in a circle. And it's just light, very light. I don't know if you can see that on there. But it's just a light, just a little bit of a light. A light cheek. There we go. We'll give a little bit of cheeks to our little, our boy bunny over here too. Okay, now we are ready to do the shading on there. So I like to do just a little bit of shading. That still needs to dry, so we need to set that aside. But we can do some shading on our little boy bunny. And I usually like to use a light, well, this is a brown, nutmeg brown. going to go on the outside. Just follow along the edge. 
just pulling that color around. I'm not sure I'm liking this brush too well. It's got a lot of, the bristles are kind of sticking out. Now we're going to do the inside of her ears, his ears, I'm getting mixed up with which bunny's which. Once I get the bow and the bow tie on, then it will all make sense. Okay, let's see. It's dry enough to do. A little spot right here that I need to put a little bit of brown. Okay, I'll set that aside. And let's give a little bit of shadow to our our smaller pieces here. This brush is kind of crazy. Let's go around the nose.
Okay. I think we're ready to put that bow on her. We can glue her bow on. I'm still letting him. Oh, this is the boy. Oh, somebody's got to remind me. My goodness. Okay, and we've got the nose. We've got some whiskers that we're gonna put on him. We've got this um, this wood excelsior that we're gonna go ahead and use. Now I don't have my hot glue gun over here because I have I'm using my two plugins that are over here. I think this time, let's see. I think I this time I would like to use some burnout. Not burnout. Um maybe not this this time. Some what do you call that? Thin twine stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and shadow. Give some shadow to this guy right here. This girl. Oh, I need, oh, I need a cordless glue gun. Oh, is that what you have? Oh, I get, yeah, I've just had this, you know, same glue gun for years and it's not cordless. So, yeah, so I have the heat gun and then I have my ring light above me. So, and I only have one plug in on this side of the wall. Extension cord, I guess I could get an extension cord. There we go, that's better. I was running out of color a little bit too quick. Oh, you got one for Christmas. Hmm. My birthday's coming up. This is my birthday month. Maybe I need to think about that. I call it my birthday month because you never know. Packages might just be arriving as I buy my own birthday presents. It just arrived from Amazon. and So for years, we've always called it, Mom, that's your birthday month. It's your birthday month. And then when I tell my husband, I'm like, hey, hey, it's my birthday month. And he's like, oh, no. Yeah, but I don't think I've thought about what I really want for my birthday this year. Cute, 
cute. Just gives it a fun little, um, just some shadow on on her. Got to get that bow on her so I can keep, keep calling her her. I want to call her him. Giving it a little shadow. There, too cute. Okay. This is a different type of Excelsior. It's a little bit thicker, so this is probably what I'm going to use. Sorry for all the crinkly noise. Okay, I am going to go grab my heat tool. I have it already plugged in, but it's over there. So I think I'm done with the heat gun. So I'll unplug that. And I'm going to grab my glue gun. Okay. Yeah. I'm back, I'm back. Okay. So it's still hot. This will work much better. Looks kind of messy right now, but what I'm going to do is just kind of wrap a few pieces together. Okay. So what I'll do, and then I can trim them after I get it all glued on. So what I'm going to do is I use my glue gun, and then I also use my stick fast because I want it to um, I want it to really stick. So let's do the glue gun. I'll use the stick fast when I when I put the nose on. I 
And then we'll trim his whiskers once we get there. Okay, so now the little nose. And it will just be lifted up just a little bit, but that is totally fine. I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue, and then I'm going to add the stick fast too. I hope I don't make some sort of crazy chemical reaction, huh? Just hold it there for a second. Yep, Jennifer, I agree. It's always good to have the whole month for your birthday. Always a good idea. Look how cute. Look how cute. Okay, good and dry. So here's our little bow. We're going to add. Now we'll add the bow onto our sweet little girl. Okay, let's give her some whiskers too. And I do the eyes last because then I can get the placement where I want it. That was kind of a thick bit. I'm just gonna put them together. Let me get one more. Looks good. And for the nose, And I have my tag here that's go, going to go for Happy Easter. And I just remembered I'm going to give this just a little bit of shading too. Let that dry. And I've got this teeny tiny little flower right here. It's going to go, but we're going to put our happy Easter on here too. So we're going to do some twine. I think we can go ahead and do Trim his little whiskers. And any that are, were doubled up, we want to cut that off too. And then I might just take him and just give him a little bit of a scrunch. Not too much because it will break him. Cute. Yep, got one right there. Oh, cute. So let me show you 
well this is this is almost dry got a mess going on but it's all good it's all good for a good cause huh so i'm going to take some black and dot their eyes because he just that's all he needs is his eyes on here and I will just use the back of one of my paint brushes. And I usually test it first before I I'll test it on my palette to decide if that's the right size of eye. That looks pretty good. I hold it down just a little bit. So I'm just gonna do his little eye. And I like to do them just a little bit uneven. So we'll do one up and one down. Cute. Do you see him? He is adorable. Okay. I'm going to put him aside because once you do those dots to the eyes, you don't want to bump those eyes. So I'm going to wait to do her. Keep that brush right there. Let's trim her whiskers. They're crazy. Cute. I like that. I'm just kind of flipping up there. It's kind of fun. Okay, so with this, we're going to go ahead and just take some twine. Some baker's twine to find the end is always the trickiest part. So just putting it in here. I'm just going to tie a knot. And then I'll tie a bow. And I like to put just a little bit of glue in there. I'm sticking my fingers to get super glue. It's super. We'll stick your fingers together. Easter. So cute. Trim the tails. And so I'm going to use just a little bit of hot glue to glue our flower on. And then we got our cute little happy Easter right there. Let's give her so cute. I think I'll go ahead and put some stick fast on the back of this wood piece and glue it down. Here's my sweet happy Easter. And then we give her eyes and then she is complete. Put just a little bit more glue on the bow. Okay, let's do her eyes. And she's ready, ready to go to a party. Okay, get her eyes on. This is when she just comes to life. Love it.
There she is. Isn't she just adorable? Oh my goodness, I just love it. So here are my little boy bunny and my girl bunny. I gotta find the camera where it is. Aren't they cute? Oh my gosh, they just turned out really cute. I love them. So these are available in the Etsy shop. So, but if you're local and you love these bunnies and would like some yourself, just let me know, you guys. They're so fun. I love them so much. Okay, you guys. I just love them. I hope you love them too. I know the little tag. I think the little tag just makes it super special on, on that little lady. Girl, oh, camera. Where's camera? <laughs> Like doing it's like learning how to do your hair with the hair dryer and, mm, and a brush mm, crazy gotta learn to find out where my camera is but anyway i hope you guys had fun watching me paint these cute little bunnies they are so adorable i love them so much and so you got to start thinking about what you're gonna do for your easter decorations and i think they turned out so fun my cute chunky chunky bunny shelf sitters Anyway, I hope you guys all have a great day, and we will catch you on the next live. Bye.